Well, we'd like to see if things will. And the thing we're going to find out if it will tonight is more. <laughs> well, it's more. I don't know. Okay. Uh, that's what is up first. And for this first more, it's an Italian classic. Okay. So tonight I plan on getting rid of this um, Live Laugh Meow mat because it seems to just collect a bunch of hair and other debris and there's one now. And I plan on using that tray, it was an old um, tray for the TV table but I'm going to clean it up and that's what their cat dishes is going to sit in. It's going to look so much better and more tidier and easier to clean. Does anybody else's kitchen table literally just become like a somewhere everything can collect? Because that's ours. So I'm going to put white stuff away and tidy up a little bit. Um, yeah. This is kind of the place I put everything when I'm tidying up that needs to go back to a spot or get thrown out, or go back to the bathroom. So I'm gonna go do that now.
this has been something new I've been using and it's a diffuser with some oils. Um, usually at night after Y goes to bed, I like to diffuse lavender. Um, it's calming and I love the scent. all done um, I move on to the kitchen because I find that it's a place that I like to have kind of put together by the end of the day when I go to bed so I'm gonna come in do the dishes um, put the clean ones away I'm going to tidy up my bread container um, the hubby likes a lot of bagels and English muffins and takes sandwiches every day to work so always lots of carbs which isn't always a horrible thing so um, that's all done and everything's kind of squared away in here so yeah <laughs> next I'm going to take care of this kitchen I've got some clean stuff to put away dirty stuff to do dinner to cook um, some desserts that kind of got carried away and obviously my hubby didn't have time to clean up after himself before he went to work, so I better do that. Finally, an empty sink. I'm just gonna go now and wipe down the countertops and the stove and again, deal with that mess over there. Just when I thought I was done with dishes, but I still have dinner to make, so that one's gonna wait. It's organized if it's off the countertop, right? <laughs> I can go up? Okay, that's what I've decided.
Coffee machine's a little bit of a mess, but I'm gonna do a deep clean with me video next week or the week after. This needs to go in the garbage. And I hate refilling milk bags, so guess where that's gonna stay? Right there. Okay. So after all of the cleaning up and tidying up and making my house feel a little bit normal again, it's finally time for me to eat. Finally. It's like 7.20. It's finally time to eat, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead now and make dinner, which I have no idea what it's going to be, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me, so let's do this. So I'm just heating up a medium skillet on medium heat. I'm going to put some olive oil in it and get that going. Next I'm going to add in some diced onions. I got these to shop at the local grocery store because I hate cutting up onions. They make me cry and I'm not really a big fan of the smell. Gonna just stir that around. You know, a lot of people put their onions in after their beef. I don't know, I like it before. <laughs> just a preference, I suppose. Once you add your beef, you're going to break it up and you're just going to salt and pepper it. Okay. And mix that up again. Just mix them with one hand, so I'm going to put the gamer down and obviously do it. Just gonna let that cook down um, until it's fully brown and then I'm gonna drain it and bring you back. So just while the beef's cooking, I just wanted to show you that I took this tray and wiped it down and replaced the mat. It looks a lot better. Just cooking some rice too. Um, I've got the boil water boiling, pouring it in. Turning it down, giving a mix, and forgetting about it for a few. I'm gonna put a cover on it. So the beef has been drained, and I'm going to add this package and a cup of water. So it looks kind of weird right now, but I promise you when that thickens up, it's going to be really good. Um, it's basically just a deconstructed, deconstructed Salisbury steak. We don't like mushrooms, so ours doesn't have mushrooms. But yeah, so you let that thicken up a lot. And uh, I'm going to put that over rice, which I've made there. It is still going. Um, I have some broccoli to make or uh, use up, but I haven't decided yet if I'm going to or not. I'm getting really tired, so I might just muck a bowl of this and have a shower. Success guys. So I'm gonna strip down, jump in the shower, get changed, and we'll be back to do face masks. Does anybody else live on a well and basically have to just wait until their water pressure kicks in? Been waiting a while now. Still wait. 
Before I get dressed, I'm just going to lotion up with this. Just bought it. I kind of like it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll do a face mask. So due to some postpartumness, my hair falls out an extreme amount in the shower when I wash it. And since I've got kind of wavy hair, I don't know, sometimes when I brush it out it goes poofy and as I did that, like I'm already losing hair. So, I'm just going to leave it tonight and put it up. I did a hair mask last night, so it's pretty soft still. So you can do any um, type of mask you like. I'm going to be doing a charcoal one. Um, just because I have it. <laughs> it's by Avon. Avon calling. Clear skin. Pore penetrating black mineral mask. So a little bit about me. I have a one year, or wow, I'm already getting ahead. I have a nine month old. Um, he definitely feels like a toddler sometimes. Uh, he throws little tant temper tantrums. Um, he's like crawling and walking and standing and all that and, you know, getting into everything. So that's become a nightmare. We just actually redid the whole living room so that it blocked off spaces he's not allowed to because we have a wood stove. So like, you know, probably not the best place for a baby to hang out. So we keep him out of there. And then uh, I also have a boyfriend who I've been with since 2012. Um, still waiting on a ring, but that's okay. Good things. Uh, come to those who wait, right? Right? So that's what's going on there. Um, I'm on maternity leave right now and I was getting a little stir crazy. So I thought, why not start doing this? Because I needed something for me. And my boyfriend just got switched to afternoon. So he's basically never home in the evening anymore. So, I'll hang out with you guys while well, you hang out with me. <laughs> All right. So, the face mask is on. Pretty good. I'm going to wash my hands. I think I'm going to do like a uh, full like routine of what... I do or like what I use in the shower um, what I use after what I use in my hair all that kind of fun stuff because why not so I'm gonna let this sit for a while until it dries and then we'll come back and wash it off so I have a little week at a glance and every day I like to cross out that day so I'm kind of like yeah it's over <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does that too and I definitely cross it out after the baby goes to bed is that okay
gauze around the nose ring. going to put on some toner which I don't normally do every day but after face mask I will because it makes me feel really fresh and it's just the Garnier Miscellin water that will be on there and then I just work it through my face get the last little bit of some mask off okay next the last thing I put on my face before bed or anytime I wash my face or it feels dry is this Nivea soft um, I've been using it for years it seems to be the only thing that works for my face it's pretty dry and this stuff works so here we go okay well I'm gonna end the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed my night routine and a little pamper me time um my impromptu dinner i don't know what that was either <laughs> even my boyfriend was like what's this <laughs> so anyways that's the night um it's currently um sorry <laughs> It's currently a quarter to nine, so that took me just under an hour and a half. Um, probably would have gone a lot faster if the man didn't come home, but say la vie. So anyways, um, see you next time. Bye.